Timu Mail. Timu Mail. Everybody look for Timu Mail. <laughs> you see all that? This is a big haul. I'm so excited. Let's see. What should we start with? Let's start with this because I'm anxious to look at this. This is super cute. So remember how I was saying in the last Timu video that they have got everything that you can imagine on that site and then some? Well, I ordered... What is that? Oh, it's a little... Oh, how cute. I ordered a crocheted item to see... Oh, it's a bag. Oh, okay. Oh, how cute. Just to see what the quality was and see what kind of... Um, what kind of stuff they're selling. Because crochet cannot be replicated by a machine. So someone actually is sitting there making all of these crochet items that they're selling. And they're selling them very inexpensively, so it kind of makes me sad. But I hope that whoever is making these is getting paid a decent wage. So it has a little bag, but this is a little <clears throat> sunflower. In the... So this is really, really cute. This is done very well, of course. But it's a little sunflower, so now I'm gonna have to find myself a little vase to put my little sunflower in. It's so cute. I wonder if I could figure out the pattern, make myself more. It's done, it's, it's so soft too. It's really good yarn. It's not like cheap, nasty yarn, it's good yarn. The only thing I don't like is that they super glued, or not super glued, hot glued the leaves on and hot glued the stem into the flower. I personally would have sewn them on, but a lot of people use the hot glue. It does spin. But the wire, it's wire, and it's all wrapped nice and neatly with yarn. It's really cute, don't you think? I think so. So I'm gonna have to head to Dollar Tree and get me one of those little tiny vases and put my little sunflower friend in it. All right, so there's that. Let's see. Next, we'll talk about another crochet thing that I ordered quickly, just briefly. These are what you call safety eyes. So this is what it looks like. If you see those little eyes on stuffed animals, this is how they are attached. If I can get out the right parts here. So you have the, the main piece, looks like a screw. So this goes through the hole of, in the crochet and then you have a washer that goes on the back of it and it snaps over the, um, what do you call those? The ridges, for lack of better terms, to see, see the ridges on there? So this snaps in place over top of that and holds it on the toy. So even regular stuffed animals, that's what they use, is that kind of an eye in most cases. So I got me some new eyes because I was running low on this size. This is a 12 millimeter in case you are a crocheter. It's 50 pieces. I really should have written down the prices of this stuff. I Again, I spent, I want to say it was another $30, and I feel like I got a lot more this time. I also ordered myself some more darning needles. I only have one, and now Emily, ha did I tell you Emily started crocheting? <laughs> I'm so excited. And you know what's even worse? She's already got three projects in the works. <laughs> So I mainly ordered these because she needs her own darning needles. So these have big eyes, so you can put the um, yarn through them easier. So I'll have to give her one of these. There are 10 in here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I got 10, and this was like a dollar, dollar fifty, I think. So that is an excellent deal. 
trash aside. Let's see, next. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't. I don't have it out here. Darn it. Let me go. Oh, I forgot. I thought more eyes. I bought baby eyes also, little tiny ones. These are... Oh, it says nose. These are little... T oh, these are really small. They didn't have the millimeter on these. I thought they were tiny eyes. I forgot. These are noses. So they're little triangular shaped pieces. Let's see if I can hold it in the bag easier to show you. So it's not an oval. It's a little like rounded triangle for noses, but I don't make toys that are that small. Let me go get my phone. I'll be right back. This is another one of those things that I really didn't need, but I had to have it because just wait till you see it. And I got two because I couldn't decide on a color and I figured Emily would steal one from me. Like she stole my treasure box that I bought that I didn't need that I didn't know what I was going to do with. So I figured if something else I really don't need, she'll probably steal it too. So I got two because I really wanted one of these for myself. They're just little plastic. Let me tilt you down here. The little chairs. I mean, look. Oh, they're so cute. But here's the best part. Let's see if it works. Ta da! <laughs> it holds your phone! Whoops. If you don't touch it, so there, it has a ridge or a lip there, so it'll hold the phone in place. There we have it. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> and they fold. Look, they fold. Is that the cutest or what? I think it's super cute. And if you have little dolls that you need a stand for or something that are this small, these would be really cute for dolls. If I made toys that were this small, they would be adorable. But I cannot crochet that small, so I don't make toys that small. I also got, um, what's this called? Rose gold, or well, it's supposed to be rose gold, but it looks more copper to me. This is leafing foil. So gold leaf, I bought this to use in my polymer clay um, things. I've seen people take a few pieces of this and like stir it into the polymer clay and then you have like flecks of gold. So it's pretty cool. So I got, I didn't realize it was going to be this big. This was a huge bargain because I want to say this was around $2 if that. And this stuff is usually $10 or $12 for something like this in the store. So it's a huge bargain. And I bought, we're saving the diamond painting stuff for last, if you didn't, if you were wondering. So don't leave, I do have diamond painting stuff. I gotta get back into making my resin pieces, because I just bought two more resin molds. This one is a little mushroom house, it's hard to see, I know, but it's got the little circles on the toadstool lid. So it's a little um, jar. So the lid comes off and it makes a cute little mushroom jar. And next, this one I think will be very popular, I hope, because I think it's pretty darn cool. I have no idea what you would use this for, but you could definitely use it for anything your little heart desires because once you get it in your home, nobody's judging. And if they do, it's none of their business. Look at it. It's a bathtub. It is a little tiny bathtub. Well, not tiny, but it is a little bathtub. And it has um, feet. So you could actually make a claw tub or just a, just a more modern tub. So this part up here is extra just to make it level so when it sits, because you got to pour from this side. So that's just level. So you can see the curve. That's the shape of the bathtub. Isn't it cute? 
It's going to be so cute. So excited. Maybe this weekend I'll play with resin. Okay, now we'll get into the diamond painting stuff. All right, Miss Paula, have you to blame for this? And I'm glad I ordered both of these. One of these I got ripped off on. Okay, I was hoping I was going to have two sets. But I was told about this new tray. And since I do so many, well, I used to, but I have so many keychain sets, I think this is going to be a fabulous thing for those. Oh, it doesn't match. Oh, I thought they went together. Bummer. Okay, so what I thought I was getting was something like this. I thought they would like click together or something, but they don't. So it is a semicircle tray. It comes with a folding spoon. Look at it. It's the cutest thing ever. And you just snap it and it folds and it fits in the compartment of the tray. Or you can use it to scoop your drills. It also comes with the little brush. If any of them get stuck, you can, you know, brush them down. And here's the best part. It comes with stoppers. So if you want to trade out, I have to figure out how these go. I never know how they go in. There we go. Okay, so let me quickly put these in place. Or does it go this way? No, it has to go this way. Yeah. Yep. I'm not good with trays that have stoppers. I never can figure out which way the stopper goes. So forgive me for my ignorance. It's just one of those things that just tends to not, like, my brain doesn't want to work right or doesn't want to perceive the appropriate. See, I know how it goes and I'm still having trouble. Get in there, there we go. So these are clear stoppers. I don't know if that matters or not. Okay, let's see if I got them in right, ready? Ta-da, I did. So you can have the stoppers, so if you need to empty out one, all you have to do is, you know, Pull out one stopper and you don't have to worry about all the others spilling. I wonder if I can super glue this together because that would be really cool if it was circle, circular. So I ended up with three of these because one was like $1.98 or something or 98 cents. I don't know, it was super cheap. So I ordered two. And then as I was scrolling through looking at diamond paintings and whatnot, I came across one that was like $3.98. So I thought I was getting two in that because it said it made it look like the way they had the wording that you were getting two. So they lied, but that's okay. Because I think they're pretty cool. So thanks, Paula. She says I enable her to spend money, so she has to spread the wealth <laughs> or the poverty. Whichever way you want to look at it. So I'm going to just put my little spoons and brushes in one bag where the stoppers go. And then I'll put this, both sets of stoppers in one bag. Just so my pieces are together. And I'm not going to open the other one yet. But it's really disappointing. See, yeah, that's, that's one of the things with these type of sites. You have to really pay attention to what you're buying because just because the price like for me the price was more than was a little bit more than double but here I pay I just got one and I really thought I was getting two so anyway that's okay these trays are really neat though and they're very sturdy they're not flimsy at all I can't bend this or warp it so I think they're gonna the lines seem to be pretty deep 
So I think this is going to be a good, they are small, but that's why she said she recommended them for the keychains because the sections are pretty small. And most of the time the keychains only have small amounts of drills. So anyway, so that's that. I really like them. All right, I'm getting a big pile of cellophane over there. And I ordered another set of stickers. Since I have more than one way that I store my drills. So these are a little, the other ones I have were oblong, I think. So these are circular. A couple of them are off there. I got bent a little bit. So you can see here, this is all of the DMC numbers and a similar color to what your drills should look like. So you have all of the, your numbers. There are four sheets here. So you have four sheets of all the DMC numbers here. And then you have a sheet that is 1 through 99, and then A through Z. So if you want to label your individual painting kit when you're kitting up, if you want to label them this way, you can. And then this is where the DMC starts. So it's got the E crew, it's got um, white 5200, and then it starts with the, the lower numbers here, 150 to 164. But these are really great and they feel like a almost like a vinyl sticker so they're not cheap little you know ratty stickers that are going to come apart and peel off the backing you know what I mean <laughs> oh excuse me I had hiccups right before I started filming so I chugged a glass of milk to get rid of them Did you know that works it works for me anyway I get hiccups and I get those really deep ones that hurt like you wouldn't believe. So I chugged a glass of milk before I started filming. So that's why I have the little, little burps here and there because the air is like, oh, I'm not supposed to be here. You drank a whole bunch of milk. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I don't know. So this first diamond painting, I got three diamond paintings. So this first one is a 20 by 25, and I was really hoping that it would be good with the size of it. This is a really cute image. So we have our standard toolkit. The drills are packaged nicely in the metallic, nice and clear. You can see the colors there. And what I can see of the canvas versus the drills, the colors are accurate. So remember I said this was a 20 by 25, so it's a little baby canvas. But it is a, uh, would you say a collage or a cluster of hearts that are dangling? <coughs> Excuse me. But I think it's cute. This will be really cute for just like a little accent piece. And it should go pretty quick because there's not that many drills. There are 16 colors. The GMC numbers are right on the canvas, so exactly where we need them to be. Okay. Next, let's do this one. So if you are familiar with who my favorite artist is, then you should know what the next two canvases are, who the next two canvases are inspired by. Oh, okay, cool. So this first one comes with an inventory sheet. It's got the little tiny bags, the little tiny bags, and I can see a toolkit in there. This is a 30 by 30. Not quite sure if this is going to translate into what as to what it is. This is supposed to be a starry night likeness in a heart. 
So you can clearly see the heart, plain background, a little bit of shadow under the heart to make it look 3D. But this is the sky for Starry Night. Well, I should say it's the moon and some of the stars for Starry Night. So it definitely is more visible from back here. So I hope that once the drills are on and you don't have the confusion of all of the uh, numbers and letters, this will definitely have to be done with a light pad because if you see there, you can see how kind of clustered everything looks. So that might take a little bit of extra time, even though it's so small. Quite a bit of confetti in that heart. So hopefully, hopefully it will turn out right. Let's see if we've got actually blue blues for the drills because I can't see any of them. There's our toolkit. And the little strippy thing. Um, it's gray. Okay, there's, we have that blue. Of course, off white, yellow. There are grays. Darker gray and darker blue. Some peach, two different colors of peach, yellow, gray, there's a little bit of green, hmm. so it's very curious, we'll have to wait and see. I will definitely um, show you when I get it worked up. If I ever complete one, Tell you, I'm getting, I've been so bad lately. I've just been wanting to sit on my bed to where I'm more comfortable for my back. So that means I crochet because I don't like, I always end up spilling drills when I sit on my bed. So that's why I don't, um, <laughs> that's why I don't do my diamond painting on my bed anymore. Okay, this next one. I hope is good. It's a 30 by 40, but again, with this subject matter, I don't know what size the original was. Hmm. Might be good. Ooh, got a giant piece of wax in this toolkit. Bonus. And we have our bags. I mean, our drills come in little bags that are numbered. Do it this way. So I like how they put them in like a little, like a little book. But you can see they're nice and clearly packaged as to which painting it goes to, and you can see the beautiful colors of teal, some greens. Beautiful. That green is beautiful. I love that green right there. The darker one, so pretty. Okay, you ready to see it? Ta-da! So this is another Van Gogh. One of his late period pieces. No DMC numbers, sadly. But this canvas does look a lot clearer than the heart. So I'm not going to complain about no DMC numbers. But this is beautiful. It's going to be really pretty. I have faith. I have faith. But I don't think, unless you are familiar with this as a Van Gogh, that you would recognize it as such. I don't know. Hmm. Just have to wait and see. Anyway, that is what I have to share with you today. Let's see. Let me put this in here. Because I will most likely use that. It feels like a... No, photo paper. But I will most likely use this when I do my little index card.
Alright, I really like that. It's so clever. Really cool. Alright, anyway, so that is my fun haul from Timu. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have. I know quite a few of you said you've already ordered from or you order from them after watching my last video. So just remember, my only advice for you is to go slow, read the listing, and pay attention to the price. The Timu is really cool because it's free shipping, so you don't have to worry about that adding up like it does on um, AliExpress and the other one. What's the other one? Anyway, you don't have to worry about shipping adding up. Just make sure you read your listing so you don't get stuck with three trays instead of four. But that could have been my little um, kick in the butt being greedy. Do I really need four of these? Definitely not. But I do like them. I like them a lot. I've never used a connected tray before that has more than one color space. So hopefully they will turn out nice or work out nice. I mean, anyway. All right. And look, my chairs, I was hoping they would match. The peach is a little bit darker, but the yellow is pretty darn close. So they match my little friend. So when I'm sitting out here, I can sit my phone right there. There you have it. <laughs> uh, I'm a geek, I know. But you love me anyway. And I thank you for that so very much. And I will see you again very soon. I think, what do you all think about me doing a quick video on how I catalog my diamond paintings? I've had some recent questions about how I do it. So would you like to see that again? I know I've done it in the past and I have no idea where that video is, so I can't link it. It's somewhere in my playlist. Um, but let me know if you want to see how I catalog my stamp, my stamps. I used to catalog my stamps. Now I catalog my diamond paintings. <laughs> All right. I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much for being here. Love you.